everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm bringing you my project pen update for the month of May. And I know technically the day you're watching this, it's probably the last day of April, but it was better for my upload schedule to upload today than tomorrow. So I'm still going to call it the project pen May update because I already did an April update last month. I'm excited for this update because I've actually hit my goal already on one of the products. So I will be cycling that out for a new product. And I'm also excited to share the other progress that I've made for my project pen. Now, if you are new to my project pen series, I have a playlist link down below where you can watch my intro and my other updates. This is the first year I'm doing project pen. So it's still like a little bit new to me, but I'm really enjoying it. And I'm noticing that I'm really liking working towards actually making progress on the makeup product rather than it just sitting in my makeup collection so I'm excited about that but if you are new here then hi welcome to my channel I'm so glad you found it I upload beauty videos four times a week and I would love it if you subscribed but for now if you want to see my project pen update for the month of May then please keep watching so as always I will put the photos on the screen so you can see the progress a little bit better but I want to start off with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I think I've definitely made some progress on this one the previous month it was kind of hard to tell how much progress I've made because I couldn't really see through the bottle but I'm noticing I think it's because the bottle was getting more and more empty that I'm sort of like able to see where the product is at so I need to get a sharpie and mark it I don't know if you can tell but my progress is somewhere up until here so there's still like this much left in a tube which quite honestly is still quite much but my goal is to use this up completely by the end of 2022 so I still have many months to use this up I do really like the Tarte Shape Tip concealer I do have one with like a faulty packaging so it gets really dirty I literally have to clean this every time I've used it basically which I don't always do so it does look a little bit gross but that is the main thing that annoys me about this product that being said I do really like the formula I do have to know that my skin isn't really how it's used to be I've noticed that I've had like more bumps on my skin for the past month and I've been kind of sort of like figuring out the cause I didn't want to wear as much like full coverage makeup because I wanted my skin to be able to like breathe and get rid of these like bumps so I didn't wear too much makeup so that is why I haven't reached too too much for this product because this is a very full coverage concealer however I still use this one quite a bit and I would mostly like wear this without any foundation so I could still have some coverage without having to put like foundation all over my face and I've been really enjoying this for that I do think it's a little dry so I'm not 100% yet I will repurchase when it's empty and the shade is a little bit too light for me it's in a shade 16 and for a light neutral which does work quite nice but because this is so full coverage I feel like I could use a shade darker than this one so maybe when I will repurchase it when it's empty I'll get a different shade but first of course I do need to use this up I'm still like confident I can use this up by the end of 2022 I'm happy with the progress that I've made and once I get like a sharpie I can really see the progress better but I know I already made some progress because I'm actually able to see through the bottle on some places now so that is the Tarte Shape Tape my Charlotte Tilbury Average Bronzer, I think I said in my last update, I thought I might be able to hit pen on this by this month. And unfortunately, I've not hit pen on this yet. I definitely see the progress that I've made, but I've also noticed that the past month, I've also been reaching for different bronzers and I wanted to sort of switch it up a little bit. I still love this bronzer so, so much. It's like one of my favorites in my collection, but I recently just got the Films Are Bronze and Glow. I got the new Kosas bronzer. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit and not use this every single time however I have still really been using this quite a lot and I'm sure we can still hit pen on this this is just such a massive product that I really don't know how long it will take to hit pen on this I feel like I use this already so so much so I can't really do anything else and just to keep using it and see when we hit pen but the amount I use this I know we have to hit pen somewhere this year I'm still hoping it's going to be next month but if it's going to be later in the year then that's fine as well I know for myself that I'm getting my use out of this product it's already been worth my money because I've had this for like one and a half years and I use it so so much for me it's really like the perfect undertone of bronzer so like I said I'm so confident we can hit pen on this we unfortunately just have not hit pen on this just yet 
Then another bronzer is a product that I put in my project pen just last month. I switched something out for this one and this is the Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles. I'll put a photo on the screen of what this looks like right now compared to last month. I can definitely tell I have used this more however I'm still like not close at all to hitting pen I think. I am happy with the progress that I'm seeing because I know I've used this one quite a bit but I didn't expect to hit pen on this because I think it's just like two or three months old and and I just want to hit pen on this somewhere this year. It doesn't necessarily have to be this month or next month, but the earlier the better. But yeah, this is a really nice product. I have been enjoying this and this is a travel size, so it wasn't too expensive. And I feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of this one. So I'm excited to keep this one in the project pen. I am still very much enjoying it. Then I also decided to put in the Barrett Minerals Blonzer. I added this into the project pen as well because I felt like it was nice since they were brought back by Barrett Minerals. I would be able to use it a bit more on my channel. These things are so so pigmented I keep being surprised by how little I need in order to get the pigmentation that I want. It is a very beautiful shade but you just need like the tiniest amount and I'm noticing because of that I'm not really seeing a lot of progress so to be honest I'm really not sure if I'll be able to hit pen on this by the end of 2022 so this one like I'm a little bit doubting about what to do with. I want to keep it in a project pen because I do want to use it of course but I don't I wanna keep it in if it's like an unrealistic goal. So I think I'll work on this like this month and next month and then see what it does and if it would be able to hit pen. If not, then maybe I will keep it in and add something else in order to hit my goals. And if it's not possible, then maybe I'll just switch it out for something else. But it is a really beautiful product and I'm really happy that Bare Minerals brought these back because I think they're super pretty. I also really wanna try more things from Bare Minerals, but this is a product that I really enjoy. So that is the blonde in the shade Kiss of Pink. Like I said, I've definitely used this one quite a bit. I'm just not seeing the progress yet that I hoped. Then next, of course, I had two eyeshadow palettes in my project pen. So the first one I want to update you guys on is the Tarte Tartly Juicy Eyeshadow Palette. I have used this one quite a bit. Now, one thing I will say, maybe the reason why I'm not hitting pen on some products as quickly is because for my job, I work as a Charlotte Tilbury artist. I mainly wear all Charlotte Tilbury products when I go to work. So because I work like three or four days a week sometimes, like there's only three days left where I can wear like different palettes and that is why I'm not really able to reach for this one and the Natasha Denona one as much because on some of my days off I don't even wear makeup and on some days I want to just reach into a different palette maybe a newer one that I've got so that's kind of like something I've been struggling with but to be honest it's not that big of a deal I have been finding ways to incorporate this even in my work makeup routine so sometimes what I will do is set my eye base with the shade Blossom I feel like the shade Blossom right here is a really nice shade to set my eyeshadow base without it being like too white. So that's mainly what I've been using this palette for, but I have also been reaching for this on my days off, just not as much as I had hoped I would, but I'm still seeing progress on this, so I'm not mad at it. I just have to realize I'm not able to hit pen on it as much because of course I reach for my Charlotte Tilbury quads a lot as well, but I don't mind it. I love my Charlotte Tilbury quads as well, but I still wanna keep this in a project pen because I'm just sure we can hit pen on this by the end of 2022. I only need to hit pen on one of the shades, so that's totally going to be possible. But for me, what's most important is that I'm getting my money's worth out of this palette. But with how much I've been enjoying this, I've definitely already got my money's worth out of this. I love it so much. And I know this is kind of like an unpopular opinion because the shimmers aren't like the most intense shimmers you will see. They're really quite subtle and not that easy to build, but they work really nice for just like subtle everyday makeup looks and that is what I really enjoy this palette for. The matte blends super easy as well and this is just a palette I love reaching for all the time. So that is the Tarte Tartly Juicy Eyeshadow Palette. Now, sort of the same story goes for my Natasha Denona Midi Retro Palette. I really enjoy this palette, but I just don't reach for it as much because of the same like reason as I'm not reaching as much for my Tartly Juicy Palette. Now, same with this one. I have been using this quite a bit on my days off. I've definitely tried to get my use out of this palette. And I would say, especially the lighter shade from the palette, which is this one right here called Mod, I have been using as well to set my eye base. And I am really liking it for that. I also really like this shimmer right here. I like this shade right here. So I have been playing with the shades a little bit and I'm definitely really enjoying this palette. 
I think it's just one that's going to take a little bit longer to hit pen on, but I'm still sure we can hit pen on this somewhere by the end of 2022. It is a really nice palette and I'm enjoying seeing the progress that I've made on this. So that is the Natasha Denona Midi Retro Palette. Definitely am keeping this in the project as well. A product I haven't even reached for once this month is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. And I think I said in my last update that if I wasn't going to be using this in my next month, so the one I'm filming here, I would take it out of the project pan and I haven't used it one time. I totally forgot about this product. I just feel like it's sometimes a little bit of an unnecessary step in my routine. It doesn't really add a lot extra. I'd rather use the Hollywood Flawless Filter and my moisturizer always gives me a glow already as well. I'm also using the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. So this is a product that is going to be leaving the project pan. I am going to keep it in my collection for a little while longer, but if I continue to not retread, I will declutter it and give it to somewhere else because I don't want it to like expire in my collection. But this is just a product that just does not excite me. So that is why I'm getting rid of the Rare Beauty Primer. This is what it looks like. And this is going to be replaced by something else I will show at the end of the video. Then I have one more product to show and then we've made it to the product that I've actually used up. But the other product I still need to show is my Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips Dew in the shade Dance Floor Princess. Now I want to use this up by the end of 2022 and this is what it's currently looking like. I don't think it's looking like too bad. I still think I will be able to use this up by the end of 2022, but I feel like I need to take more effort and actually try to use this up. Now I did have a cold sore this month where I basically wasn't able to wear a lipstick for like a week and a half or two weeks. So that's definitely contributed to the fact that I haven't made as much progress on this. But when my cold sore was gone, I have been wearing this quite a bit but as you can see on like the photos it's basically still in like the same spot as last month i think that's mainly because these lipsticks are of course a bit pointy and i maybe have made some progress on the front right here but i am just counting it towards the back so the longest piece of the lipstick I still want to keep this in the project pen. I still want to use this up by the end of 2022. I just know that I need to take more efforts and actually try to use this one up because it is a nice lipstick. I don't mind wearing it at all. Like right now I could have worn this, but instead I'm wearing my Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Lip Serum. I just need to remind myself that I need to wear this because it's beautiful. I don't mind wearing it at all. It's super gorgeous, but I don't know. I just sometimes forget to reach for it and my cold sore didn't make it any easier. Now I have used up one product and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. It's technically not used up completely, but I'm almost at the point where I'm unable to sharpen it. Plus when I had my cold sore, I still needed to have something on my lips sometimes when I went to go places. So that is where I use this one for since it was technically almost empty. So I think if I sharpen this, it will pretty much be at the point where it's empty. But because of my cold sore, I don't want to keep wearing it. So that is why I decided to call this an empty. I could maybe get like a few more uses out of this, but still it's almost at the point where it's like unable to be sharpened. So that is why I'm calling this an empty. I mean, when you consider something empty, just get rid of it and replace it with something else into the project because there's no point if I'm like unable to sharpen it. But I'm very happy with the progress that I've made on this product because I have been wearing this so, so much. I already had a new one of this that I'm wearing right now. And I'm so happy to keep the Pillow Talk lip cheat in my collection. I'm not going to put the new one in the project pad because it's like pretty much still a full size. I've only used it two times. So I feel like it wouldn't be as interesting to put into the project pen but know that I already have a new one this is my favorite lip liner and I really enjoy wearing this but now I'm excited to replace this product with something else for my collection as well so then because I used up one product and I got rid of one other product I needed to put two products back into the project pen so I selected two new products that I'm now going to be sharing that are going to be in my project pen and they both have a different goal the first product I'm putting into the project pen is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I have mine in the shade Breezy and this is quite a risky thing because I've only had this for a few weeks and I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to use this up but I think we can do it. 
there is a 9.5 grams of product in here which is quite much but honestly i think it's doable in a time span of eight months so this is what this powder is currently looking like this is just a setting powder that i use to set my makeup i am already really enjoying it i really like it and as you can see from the short time that i've had this you can already tell some progress so i feel like this is going to be an interesting product to put into the project pan to actually see how long it's going to take me to use up a pressed powder completely. I also recently just got a new pressed powder from LYS Beauty so I'm just going to alternate a little bit but I am going to be focusing on this one and the goal for this Kosas powder is to use this up completely by the end of 2022. And then I wasn't sure what else I wanted to add into the project. I already think one lipstick is hard enough, two eyeshadow palettes is already hard enough. So I wanted to select a product from a different category, but I don't really have a foundation that I think I can use up completely. I also don't really have something I think I can hit pen on. I can't really think of something. So the product that I decided to select for this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. And why I think this one would be interesting for the project pan is you can actually use this in a different way. So how I've been using this is pretty much as a serum in the morning, but I've also loving to mix it with my foundation to make it a bit more of a lighter coverage. And for instance, I have my Urban Decay Hydro Maniac Foundation and it's a little too deep so what I will do is put a little bit of that on my face then add two drops of this and it sort of makes it into like a thinner consistency where I'm able to wear the shade even though it is a little bit too deep so I'm really enjoying this product I also really like the smell and I think I'll be able to use this up by the end of 2022 maybe even sooner I don't know if you can tell on camera how much there is still left in here like I said I need to get a sharpie or something but I can see it's still like full until here so it's pretty full but I've also already used it quite a bit so I'm curious to see how long it will take to use this up but I'm excited to have this one into the project pen I think it will be very interesting okay everyone then this was my project pen update for the month of May I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this let me know what you think of the progress that I've made on some of these products and also let me know what you think about the new product that I've added into the project if you're also doing a project pen then let me know how much progress you've made on the products in your project Project. I would love to know that as well and if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more project pen videos then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of my videos all of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it but with that said and to thank you guys all so much for watching I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video bye